Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So here we'll see how to make our model OBS. This is our model and this model works with user information like name and description. And we'll take a look how to make it OBS type. So make model OBS using GetX. And so let's go ahead and get started. Now this is our controller and pretty much empty right now. And over here, first we create a variable of our model. And as we create the variable, actually we'll make it OBS. So here we defer and we'll call it profile. And then here our class name that was user item, this one, and then we'll make it OBS, all right? Okay, so this is our class name, user item and we just made it OBS. But of course, uh, this is far from enough because we need to make it actually reactive. And as well as when we make changes, for example, if we make, uh, if we change the name, then on the UI, we'll see that it is being changed. So that was the first step. Next, we are going to go ahead and override our onInit method. here we're going to create a local variable and we'll call it profile and then we'll call our user item class and inside this actually so this is the constructor that we are calling and we need to give it a value because over here it says that this values are required so we need to provide the value so here for example in this case name I would do Ahmed So now using this class, we created a variable which is named profile or we created an object which names profile, okay? Now actually we need to make, assign it to our profile variable, the one that we had at the top. So here we do profile and inside this, we just simply go ahead and push it like this, profile, okay? Now actually with this, We'll be able to get the value like name or description in our ui now that's the first step so let's go ahead and work on this so in our main function we are going to inject it so how to inject it say here we do get dot put and then here we'd say user controller remember our controller name is user controller so we need to inject the dependency so instead of stateless class, we use get view because we are using getx and then we also need to mention the controller. So our controller is user type. Now over here, I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to use obx because our model, the value has been just updated. So here we do obx, okay? But we want the dynamic value, the value that's been assigned inside this, okay? So we want this, this value and how to work with this. Now, over here, we are going to do like this because we have this controller over here. So this controller is inside get view and we can easily get controller, this one. And then we want to access our model over here, this object, because remember once on and it runs, and uh, we create this instance and assign it to this profile variable over here, over here, this one. So this gets updated. Now we want to use the value. We want to access this variable from here. The first step was using the controller and get the controller variable, but there's another step that we need to do. Over here, we could create a getter. So getter would return us user item and then we'll call it get and then we'll name it profile and then we just return like this so here we do profile and we want to return the value the value of this model okay not profile directly we want to return the value of this model now let's come over here and since we have this controller object and we created a new variable and we call it profile so we can access that one and then from this we can access the name variable in our model, okay? Or the n name property. Now the error should be gone. Now this time let's go ahead and uh, start our app and we see that Ahmed, the one that's been assigned to it. So right now our model is reactive in a sense because first we assign the value over here 
and then that value we read it from our UI inside this home page. Now let's restart it and we'll see the same result. Now, so far the value was for like it's hard coded and nothing changed as we have as we are using the app. So what do we want to do next? Next, actually we want to create another method. Actually, we are going to override another method. Now, which is called on ready. Now with this, actually we'll assign new value to it and we'll see that our UI gets updated as we assign new value. So here we'll call super.onReady. And then after here, actually two seconds later, we wanna call a function. So we'll use uh, future.delay and over here we'll use duration and we'll say seconds. Two seconds later, we are gonna invoke a callback function over here. So as we call it, actually we'll change the value. Now we know that this is our private variable so we can access it inside this class anywhere we want. So over here we do profile and then here we would get value and after that here we wanna get the name. And for name over here we wanna access, uh, assign it a new variable. All right, and we want to access this new value on our UI after two seconds later. Now, let's go ahead and run our app and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully two seconds has been passed, but we don't see any changes over here. But over here, if you go ahead and print a value, let's go ahead and do that profile value dot name. All right, now we'll see that the new name after two seconds later printed over here. So the best tag but you are, our UI has not been updated. So our model, from model we created an object, we assigned a new value to it, and then after two seconds later, we give it another new value. That new value should be updated and seen on the screen, but it is not. So here we could do one thing. So to actually force the UI to know about this updated value, here we could do like this. We can just go ahead and call profile.refresh. Now, if your object is OBS type, which is this one, our profile is OBS type, you can always call refresh method, and refresh method will make sure that UI gets the latest value. Now, let's run it one more time. Okay, now you see two seconds later, the name has changed. So, let's go ahead and do it one more time, yes. And now here we see the name has changed. Yeah, so that's how you make your model OBS and you change the value and update them on the UI. Thank you so much.